Today, we will talk about cross-cultural appeal of Japanese content. Through its mixed media structure and image alliance, the Doraemon franchise has achieved varying levels of success and popularity across the world, serving as cultural capital nationally, regionally, and globally. Here we will explore the implications of and underlying reasons for Doraemon's broad or limited transnational appeal, based on varying countries and populations. Doraemon is widely popular in Japan, but this popularity is not only contained within the nation, it has been incorporated into the cultural fabric in other parts of Asia, and has also begun carving a space in Western culture. We aim to question why Doraemon has transnational appeal, and what happens to its value and meaning when it is incorporated into another nation's culture. Topics of discussion include 1. The Japanese government's eagerness to export Doraemon and brand it as an N9 ambassador. 2. The role of soft power and Japan's reliance on soft power given its post-war, constitutional, hard power limitations. 3. The strategic spread of Japanese cuteness and gross national cool, which enables the country to export its products and its values. 4. Cross-cultural acceptance of Japanese animation and reasons for Doraemon's relative lack of popularity in the West. Language learning has always held a special place in human culture and cognition. Beyond its utilitarian function of communication, the acquisition of a new language opens up windows to understanding different cultures and expanding cognitive abilities. One language that has captured the hearts and minds of many learners around the world is Japanese. According to the Japan Foundation survey report on Japanese language education abroad, the number of Japanese language learners around the world has increased by about 30-fold in the past 40 years, reaching 3 million. 794,714 as of fiscal 2021. With its intricate writing systems, nuanced expressions, and rich cultural heritage, the appeal of learning the Japanese language is undeniable. There are many reasons for this appeal, including the rich culture and history of Japan, the widespread popularity of Japanese pop culture growing, and the economic power of the country, as well as learning Japanese for one's own personal growth travel and personal exploration. If you are planning on visiting Japan, learning Japanese will make your trip much more enjoyable. For the avid traveler, learning Japanese can be a transformative experience. While many Japanese people do speak English, especially in urban areas, speaking their language can enhance interactions and facilitate a deeper connection with the local culture. Travelers who can communicate effectively in Japanese may uncover hidden gems engage in authentic conversations, and gain insights that may otherwise remain inaccessible. You will be able to communicate with locals, read signs, and order food without any difficulty. Moreover, the ability to read and navigate signs, menus, and transportation schedules in Japan enhances the overall travel experience. It empowers travelers to venture off the beaten path, explore remote regions, and truly immerse themselves in the country's natural beauty and historical sites. From my very first short trip around Japan, back in the early 1980s, when I knew very little Japanese, through to the present day when I recently completed visits to all 47 prefectures, Japanese has been the key to opening the paths to more and more remote parts of this country, off the beaten track away from high-speed Shinkansen lines. Being able to navigate the Japanese linguistic landscape undoubtedly gives one access to people, places, and cultures that would otherwise go unnoticed. What set these Japanese video games apart from their Western counterparts were largely aesthetics like the art, the visuals, the graphics, and the sounds. Think of a game like Pac-Man. How can such a simple game manage to capture the attention of so many people? It makes you think about the artistry and game mechanics. There was a time when 25 years ago, Japan controlled 50% of the video game market. Today, its share is under 10%. Back in the 80s, the industry was dominated by arcade games. That was a time when Japan truly dominated the scene with Sega being the undisputed leader. Cultural enchantment. Japan boasts a history that spans millennia, and its unique cultural identity is infused with a blend of tradition and modernity. This history is reflected in the country's art, architecture, and literature. However, Japan is also a modern country with a vibrant economy 
and a thriving pop culture scene. This combination of tradition and modernity makes Japanese culture both fascinating and accessible to learners from all over the world. Learning the Japanese language allows individuals to access this cultural richness in a more profound way and can give you a deeper understanding of Japanese culture, from its traditional arts and crafts to its modern pop culture. The language is intricately tied to Japan's classical literature, such as the renowned Tale of Genji, which dates back to the 11th century. By understanding the language, learners can engage with these literary masterpieces in their original form, gaining insight into the societal values, customs, and ways of thinking during those times. Moreover, traditional arts like tea ceremony, calligraphy, and flower arrangement are all deeply intertwined with the language. These arts reflect Japan's aesthetics and philosophy, emphasizing harmony, mindfulness, and the appreciation of subtlety. Learning Japanese enhances one's understanding of the underlying cultural nuances that inform these practices, enabling learners to not only participate, but also to truly comprehend their significance. Recently, I completed the 33 Saikoku Canon pilgrimage in the Kansai region, retracing the journeys taken by some of the greats of Japanese history, such as Murasaki Shikibu and Matsubasho, in my own rediscovery of the people and places that appeared in the texts that I had read all those years ago in university. Media Literacy Japanese pop culture has become a global phenomenon, with J-pop music, fashion trends, and subcultures like cosplay gaining followers worldwide. This global popularity has played a significant role in driving interest in the Japanese language. Aspiring enthusiasts who wish to interact with Japanese creators, attend conventions, or consume content in its original language, find learning Japanese can give you the opportunity to enjoy these cultural products in their original language. Subtle cultural references, wordplay, and humor are often lost in translation, and learning the language provides a deeper connection to the creator's intent. It can also help you connect with other fans of Japanese subcultures from all over the world. Additionally, Japan is renowned for its technological innovation and research. Learning Japanese can be immensely advantageous for individuals aspiring to collaborate with Japanese researchers, work on joint projects, or pursue advanced studies in fields like robotics, engineering, and medicine. Accessing academic literature and attending conferences in the language can facilitate the exchange of ideas and facilitate international collaboration. I particularly enjoy the Owari culture here in Kansai, not only for its humorous content and linguistic acrobatics, but also for the fact that it plays a big role in everyday interactions in daily life. One of my most memorable experiences here in Kobe was appearing on a popular Japanese variety program called Tantai Night Scoop, where I joined forces with one of the detectives to track down a copy of a 1960s million selling song called Manchester and Liverpool. Together we solved the mystery of this song, named after my hometown. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.